All right, guys. You ready? All right. Three, two, one. Go! Wee! All right, we have the Haxer versus Macobra. Macobra right now has the better audio, so we're gonna use Macobra right now. We'd be able to switch back and forth. We got Haxer and Macobra both using the pipe rub strategy. It's gonna allow them to get the mushroom and get the heck out of this world at ease. They're both gonna use the exact same strategy. Macobra, a little shaky, doing a couple extra turnbacks, but it looks like he is in the clear, man. He is in the clear. Now, a lot of you who have been watching previous races knows that some of the biggest mistakes in World 1 just does not matter whatsoever. It just does not matter. We're gonna go ahead and switch to Haxer's audio. It is a little low, but it's not the end of the world, guys. Alright, looks like Haxer's going to get 2-2p speed very nicely, and Macobra's gonna be a little shaken up, but he does get the backup strategy, and he is right there, right on his tail. So... The first points in World 1 are going to be the, the frame perfect jump with the bro and staying in the duck form on the airship. So this could be very exciting. We have seen runners get it. We have seen runners not get it. And it has resulted in a, a two point swing, which is big, right? I mean, you work hard, you get the frame perfect jump, uh, but you don't get the duck, right? And then somebody doesn't get the frame jump, but they do get the duck. They still have that one point lead, right? And uh, we've had a lot of runners say that the duck isn't so difficult. So we'll see how this goes. Haxer is the winner of season one. So he did get to advance to round two without having to play anyone in round one. A reward that's really nice for winning, man. He won some cash. He won a nice slot in round two. He's been able to watch people strategize, see how things have been going. So uh, maybe he's got some tricks, better strategies up his sleeve. Nobody has seen him really play this much. Um, I think yesterday he was doing practice, so we'll see how he does here. Um, trying to catch up on some points. And we got Mercobra on the right side. Also was in Season 1, but obviously was not the winner. So we have two Season 1-ers back in action in Season 2. Going for the P-Speed strategy. Haxer nails it. Gets the two coins. He's not worried about his coin ship. He does have anti-coin ship strategies up his sleeve, and I think Mercobra does as well. And look at that, neck and neck, ladies and gentlemen, these both. Does Haxer get the frame perfect jump? Haxer does not get the frame perfect jump. But he's gonna go for the fire flower. Macobra is gonna go for the early fire flower in the mushroom house. Is he going to get it though? Does he get a first try? He does not get a first try and Haxer is out of there. He is out of world one right now. All right, Macobra's starting to get the frame perfect jump. He does not get the frame perfect jump either. And now it is time for the airship points. And let's see how it goes. Looks like Macobra's doing a little preemptive practice for these points. All right. Oh, Haxer had already let go. I don't know if he wanted to go for the point or not go for the point, but he's not going to be going for it. Not going to be going for it. All right. So we're going to have to keep our eyes on Macobra because I think he is going to go for it. And he is going to go for the two points. This could be a big two point swing right there. We'll see how it goes. We want it. We want no peaks, right? We want no peaks. No frame perfect jump for either of them. That's right. Oh, and Macobra peaks. Does not get the duck on the airship points, so they are tied right now for points. Actually, goes first clean fire kill. And knows exactly how to do it. Gets it done. He is out of there. Do -do. Right, do -do -do. And it is now Macobra's turn. Misses two fireballs, gets the four. Nice, and he secures the fire kill. All right. So there could have been already some uh, pretty big point swings had we seen them. If Macobra managed to keep that duck on the airship and get the fire flower, he'd have a three point advantage right now. So let's see. Uh, let's see how this is going to swing. This could swing anyway. But now we're starting World 2. Getting a little spicy in here, guys. Getting a little spicy. Haxer is no stranger to world record peace piece strategies in almost all of these levels. So we will be seeing him go for some good time points here. It's, I'm very curious to see. Are we going to see more time points? Are we going to see more point points? Um, objective points? Uh, wild points? Rewards, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see as it goes and always in world two. You're guaranteed a movement of two Nice Macobra doing the same strategies nailing it although he did have to do a quick turn back 
but he does have two stars right now. Nice hacks again, three card. He is done. That is the last of the cards that you cannot get in World One. So now it is time to strategically get your cards. Whoop. All right, still getting movements of two on Haxer's side. McCobra also got his first movement of two. Haxer getting the early P speed in the fortress. That'll be good uh, to keep a nice little lead there. I don't know if McCobra's going to go for it, but I think McCobra goes for the dry bone stomp, which is still pretty, uh, pretty. I think that's better than not getting it. So he's still getting a movement of two on McCobra's side. This is close. Okay, McCobra not going for the stomp, but not getting the early P-Speed, which if he gets the backup, which I th think, yes, he did get the backup. So he's still pretty, uh, pretty in the clear here. As you can see, he does and has already checked a Mushroom House, right? So he, he will always be behind that, uh, you know, that additional 10 seconds. But each runner looks like they know exactly what they're doing here. All right, McCobra getting the fire kill, Haxer doing... 2-3, getting the shell strat, nice. He's gonna go for a safe jump over, and he does get it. Ooh, almost slides off, doesn't. It was very close. McCobra still getting movements of two here. This could be pretty good. Hacks are trying to get the flower, but he gets the mushroom. That's okay. There's lots of levels left, right? There's lots of levels. As long as you keep trying, he does get another movement of two. The Hammer Brothers are in a pretty good position. McCobra is still getting another movement of two as well. This is crazy, man. These guys are getting it. All right, Hax is going to go for the sun. Knocks the shell by accident. He's going to go slow there. He doesn't want to get the uh, the knockback take damage here. So he's going to go for a different shell. Is he going to do the stand? Is he going to do the bump? Or is he going to do the throw? He's going to wait at the end here. Oh, he misses it. Is he going to go back for it? He's not. That is too much of a time loss. So he's not going to go back for it. He's not going to go back for it. That's okay. That's one point disadvantage. That's fine. He's still getting movements to two. However, this is going to be very hard for him to secure a movement of uh, two right here. Meanwhile, Makobra also getting a movement of one right there. So I think our runners have depleted the uh, movements of two. So we'll see how this goes. Will Makobra get the sun hit though? I think we saw him do it before. Gets the shell throw, gets the sun hit. And there it is right there. First tick on the meter. Oh, there and there's the movement of one on Haxer's side. Getting some pretty rough RNG. Forced to go to the direction of level four for a consistent uh, fire kill. Um, so forced to get the music box, which in this tournament set, I think the music box is not that bad of an idea. Allows him to control some of his in inventory, um, if that seems to be the play. Uh, some runners like to go for it, some runners don't. Haxer with the 33, but he does have the pyramid, so he's not gonna have a problem. He's gonna go for the mushroom house. Try and get the fire flower point. Also, wash out his inventory. So let's see how it, let's see if he gets it. He does not get it, but his inventory is washed out. We're probably gonna see Macobra also go for the for the mushroom house as well. If you can get the fire, um, that could be uh, pretty big right there. I think he's gonna go. Maybe he's gonna go for the pyramid first, or he's not gonna go for the mushroom house. So this could. Uh... That whole uh, two-point inventory thing is a big thing, man. That's um, that's definitely some kind of critical thinking point. I think hacks are getting an extra block there, so he has five on his tens digit. That's just the guaranteed way of not getting coin shit. McCover does already have the five, and does he get the flower? McCover also gets the flower. They both get the flower. So while one might think he's got the advantage, he doesn't actually have the full advantage. And McCover not going to the mushroom house. This. This could be big, man. This could be big for inventory, right? McCobra's got the sun, Haxer doesn't, but Haxer has to have, he does have the washed out inventory, so he can still get Hammer Star first in World 3, where McCobra might have to do something different. So this could uh, be pretty exciting. Who is in first place right now? Um, it would be Haxer. Haxer is for, uh, do you guys have a problem with this audio? Do you want me to switch to McCobra's audio because it's better? Well, Cobra hasn't got the second half of the sun kill, so he doesn't have the point yet. He doesn't have the point. Type exclamation tournament to get the rules, the brackets, and the schedule. This is as high as Haxer can go. I have compression on and full. Not, I, I can't go any higher, so if you guys want me to switch, I can. All 
Alright, Hax is gonna be first. Enter in the battle. He knows his fire kill. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And he does get a ghost for off screen one grab. Doesn't get the off screen one grab. Macobra also getting the fire kill. Look at these guys, neck and neck. Haxer did not skip the sun. Haxer uh, accidentally knocked the shell, not didn't mean to, and then he had the other shell and it. he tried to keep going and he missed the sun. The sun's got a very small hitbox, pretty jank, but yep. All right, here we go, world three. This is where things start to heat up, man. Lots of decisions, lots of different things uh, you guys are gonna have to make here. Here we go, world three. Both runners very close to each other. Haxer is first with a 3-1, a very, very passive stage. Not much going on in this level. Starts to get pretty heated at 3-2 and on. After 3-1, we get to see, like, are these runners gonna get nervous or are they not? If the Hammer Brothers move up, and it starts to get pretty scary, man. It starts to get pretty scary. There is a rule, if there's a console crash, the runner gets to pause their timer Warp back to the exact spot where it crashed, and then they continue on from there. Oh, we got a star. Ooh, Macobra not getting a star. Haxer does get good Hammer Brother movements. He's going to go for fast 3-2. Looks like he is in charge to get it, and he does get it. Macobra not going to go for it, as we have definitely seen in uh, previous races that uh, the runner that goes for what's most comfortable for them seems to be the runners that, that kind of win, right? So just because he's doing a slower strap does not mean it, and Haxer gets... Flower, Star, Mushroom, he is going to be awarded that point right there. And he does take the preliminary lead as Macobra does have the sun. Axel getting amazing Hammer Brother movements right here. I don't think he's got anything to worry about. However, Macobra, on the other hand, does get Runaway. Haxer falls in the hole, but he makes it out. He doesn't have to worry too much. Um, after a little panic like that, I think it's easy for him to just kind of get back out of it. And look how much of a difference P-Speed makes. Who's going to enter the pipe first? Oh, it's going to be Haxer. Oh, and Macobra touched the bottom, so he's not going to be able to keep P-Speed. But look at how close they are. Macobra going to go for that Fire Flower. He gets... Oh, man. He's going to get another opportunity to get this Fire Flower. That is amazing. Haxer double-checking his inventory. He's going to use a music box right here. We have not seen this play before, guys. Go for door three. Macobra not getting door three. Haxer not getting door three either. That's okay, though. Not the end of the world. Looks like Macobra. Looks like Macobra has taken the lead just for a moment there. Music box, very interesting choice. We're gonna we we haven't seen anyone use a music box in World Three yet, so I'm very curious to see. I think he does this to force a good pattern and um and no water battle, right? That's a good move. So Macobra's gonna go down. Get rid of this Hammer Brother early. He's not gonna get the special tile though. Not gonna get the special tile, unfortunately. Ooh, little little wall rub there with the P speed, but he looks like he's in pretty good shape. So this is uh, Macobra's in a position here where he's either gonna cloud or not cloud. Um, it's gonna be interesting to see what kind of position he's gonna put himself in here. Haxer is going to go for the bottom part. He's gonna have to do double screen scroll, which I don't think is that big of a deal. Macobra getting Flower Star, so he's pretty in it now. That is a special tile Haxer's on, but he doesn't need that special tile. So we're gonna get Cloud, two hammers touching, so Macobra is not going to get the two item. But Haxer is going to get uh, the no hammer, or sorry, no water, and he's also going to get the special tile, where Macobra is going to get just water. He's not gonna be able to get the special tile, bro. And there we have it. Unfortunately, um, is, he's either going to do the fortress or just cloud past the level again. Oh, he should. Is he going to cloud past the fortress, though? He's going to go for the star. He wants the star for safety, I think. I think he wants the star for safety. Nice. Haxo does great work in 3-8. He is now in 3-9. The famous H jump. Can he make the H? Boom, he does make the H. Very, very nice. Grabs the block and he's in the pipe, ready to get the hell out of here. So unfortunately, Macobra is going to have to take the big time swing there for getting Runaway Bros. So to him, he might be thinking, all right, 
It's time to clear in some points here, and let's start by getting a mushroom right here, right? Let's start by getting a mushroom right here. He does get the mushroom! So he is given the point, Flower Star Mushroom, right there. And Haxor is out of World 3 right now. Boom. Done. Yup, Makobra not getting the special tile just yet. Not getting the special tile just yet. Now think if Makobra did get the duck inputs on the airship. Think about how crazy- Oh, and he gets the H jump! Very nice from both of our runners. Look at that, dude. As you can see, Makobra's not super duper far behind. But he is quite a ways, so there's gonna be some, uh, some time things going on here. Very, very nice from both of them. This race is looking super duper freaking awesome. Alright, let's go ahead and give Macobra's stream just a little bit of a refresh here. We have seen, uh, some buffering. Maybe he's a little further than we thought. Eh, it looks pretty... Looks pretty casual. Looks pretty casual. I think, uh, I think we can switch over to Haxer's audio now. We are in the clear. Alright, one's on the airship. At least they're both still on the airship. That is Runaway versus non-Runaway, guys. Definitely, uh, you hate to see a moment, but Runaway can kind of decide for you almost sometimes how your run is gonna go. You get Runaway, I mean, you don't lose any points, so, again, as long as you can still get under the hour, which is what? You're only doing an extra 35 to 40 seconds of level time, so not the end of the world for sure. All right, Hacks are on his way to world four. Grabbing that one. How you guys doing, chat? You guys doing good? You having fun? All right, let me get some bone zones in chat, guys. It is Halloween. Let's get all festive bone zones in the chat. All right, closing down chat as Haxer is going to be approaching 4-1. Haxer is a part of the special club who does better peace speed strategies than me in 4-1. Yes, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed to admit it, but I am in the lower class tier for peace speed strategies in 4-1 as Haxer goes and nails his strategy, and he is on his way to getting out of 4-1 right there. All right, so it looks like Macobra is going to be about two and a half levels behind. Not exactly sure. He does have some cutscenes and pipe transitions. Haxer's probably going to finish level two. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. So he's done level two. All right, so it looks like a little bit under two levels behind, right? We'll see how it's very close. He's gonna enter before he grabs the tile, just as he grabs the tile. So he's a, about one, one and a bit. Ooh. Oh, and he doesn't get a very nice try, man. That is, he tried to be of the upper class, peace speed strategy. Hacks are getting a beautiful movement of six. Sounds like exactly what he would get. And this is the first world where somebody can get a punishment. If you don't get 288 or higher in Haxer's level right now, you will get punished a point. Does he make a mistake? Doesn't get Sticky Heal. That's good. Sticky Heal is very dangerous. And it looks like he's out of there. Definitely not going to be punished. Macobra doing the, the fire shots and he gets it. Nice. Right on. He's out of there. Haxer getting a flower as his first card means... He is not going to have to do a turn back for two levels. So he is actually good for three levels. He's got the one music box and he's got the hammer. Which means he should, unless they switch on him, which I don't think they will. He could be in a pretty tight situation. Going to go for the upper P-Speed. Nails it. Alright, Macobra going to go for the fire flower. Ah, he does not get it, man. He needs that fire flower point, man, to tie it up. And it looks like he is going to get the cloud first, so that'll be good for Macobra. All right, don't get punished, Macobra, right here. 288 or higher. Ooh, man, I thought he was gonna maybe jump past that that beetle. That could be pretty scary. Side jump on that beetle is always really good. Hacks are in a very uncomfortable position. Ooh, Macobra taking the two hits of damage. Luckily, he does have the mushroom item, so he should be in the clear. Right on, hacks are gonna go ahead and do. I never remember this. This level's four, five, or four, six. I don't know why I always forget. Why do we always forget, guys? He's gonna use a hammer. He's gonna not use a mushroom, but he knows he's safe on this battle. 
All right, and this should be the cloud for Haxer. Should be no reason why it's not, and it is the cloud. Now, does Macover? Oh, he's gonna enter without using the mushroom. Oh, no. We have seen a lot of deaths happen in this level without being fully prepared. Haxer's going to get the P-Wing after the cloud point right there. He's got a solid eight in his time. Is he gonna get early P-Speed? That's what he needs to get. He's gonna go for the mushroom as first. He knows that beating that world gives you a, a P-Wing. And if P-Wing's second, then he's gonna have to do something. Doesn't get the fire flower, though. Would have been nice. Would have been really nice to get the fire flower. I really want to see Macobra equipped an item. Really wanted to see him equip the item. Hacks are gonna go for early P speed. And he does get early P speed. There you go. Nine points to his name. We have Macobra gonna use the mushroom. Is this the cl Oh, and it is the P Wing. He does get the point. Right on, and he is in the clear. There you go. He's going to use a star in here. I think to wash him out a little bit, but he needs to get... He wants to get the other star. Not this star. He wants to get the star from the Hammer Brother. But I think if he can skip it, he should and just go to the Mushroom House. Not only use that item to wash out his inventory, but he needs to use that item to try and get a Fire Flower. Getting a Fire Flower for him will be really good. It'll be really good. So let's see what this Hammer Brother does. Gets in his way. That's okay. Not the end of the world. Does have the extra items. It's fine. He's not going to get the two-point swing, though. So he actually doesn't have to care about items being close to each other in his inventory. He does not have to care about that. Does he get the early P-Speed, though? He can go back for it. Oh, man. He needs those points. Oh, he is going to go... He is going to go back for it. Very nice. The point lies within the strategic struggle of getting the early P-Speed. And he does get it! There it is, right? It's the P-Speed in itself that's very difficult to get. <gasps> oh, he almost took damage. Not being able to do it first, second, or third try, but physically being able to get that early P-Speed is the struggle. And he does get it, and look at that, guys. They're both gonna be on the airship. I am so glad that I can go to chat and see how you guys are doing, guys. Like, it's not over. It's not over. This is crazy. Nine to eight. Not the end of the world. Yes, yes, Macobra with the minus, unfortunately. That's right. That's right. That is correct. That is correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just. Yeah, I was getting to it. Get to it, guys. But yeah, no, this race is pretty good. Lots of cool stuff. Unfortunately, this is the most boring airship. All right, let's get Haxer's card down to the second half. Five to eight right now. Nine to seven. Let's go with the off-screen wand grab. Does not get it, but he does get the fire kill. This auto-scroller is even slower than when I did this auto-scroller today. Yeah. All right, so it looks like McCobra's about a minute and a half behind here. But let's see how Haxer does. No bumps on the overworld. 280 and the roulette. All righty then. Cannot wait. No bumps on the overworld map, man. That's a waste of a point if that happens. Axel should be able to get early P-Speed of 5-1. I want to see it. Ah, oh, close, but not can it. If your foot touches... If your foot touches that ledge, you cannot do it. You have to get in that little dip. You have to get in that little dip. I just had a little weird thing. Did you guys just hear an audio double from me? Okay, okay. I'm going crazy. Alright. The Cobra is out of there. Time to enter World 5. Alrighty then. Alright. Moving to 2. 
Let's see what's gonna happen here. He does have a P-Wing as the last inventory. Oh, yeah, there is a P-Wing as last inventory. He has used both of his music boxes, so he doesn't have a music box left. So if he gets a P-Wing here, he will not get the inventory item. And that will be extremely unfortunate. If he got the music box in 5-1, he not only would be safe, but he would have used the, uh, he would have used the P-Wing. So let's see what he does here. Let's see if he gets lucky. See what happens. And it looks like he is not going to get lucky. He's gonna go to the mushroom house first and get the tanuki suit. Not a bad play, man. Not a bad play. However, a couple overworld map movements. And I'm sure we have some judges listening to Macobra's audio as well. No bumps on the overworld map. He is gonna go for the roulette matching game. Is he going to get it? Yes, mushroom. Gets another mushroom! The music! Too intense! Oh! He gets vampire mushroom. Very unfortunate. Getting the vampire mushroom. Very nice try though, dude. It looks like he's got a nice setup for the first two. Probably the third just didn't really work out exactly the way he wanted to. Uh, this could be interesting because we might actually see Macobra music box these bros. Do the roulette and get the hell out of there, right? Get the heck out of there. Macobra has done a great job in 5152 and he's now on the fortress. And let's see if Hax is gonna get the 280. Looks like the Twisty Castle is going just fine for him. Macobra getting a nice fire kill. Not keeping the P speed. I don't think that's gonna interrupt this 280 though. Let's see what Macobra does. No bumps on the overall map. He's gonna go for the roulette. Has he been practicing his roulette? Ooh, mushroom flower. Ooh, and he gets the 280. That was so close. He almost did not get the 280. Nice, getting the P-Wing on Macobra's side. He's not gonna have to do that mushroom house madness right there. And he should be able to get the heck. Oh, he's gonna go for the other mushroom, or the other hammer brothers, just the star. Not sure what he wants with the star there, but we'll see we'll see what he does later with it. Ah, oh, that's right. He did use an extra star, so he does need that star back. Let's see if he gets this point. Axe are going for the early P speed in 5-5. Five, five. Does not get it. Does not get the early P speed in 5-5. Five, five. Does not get that P speed either, but he does make it! Holy crap! What a scary situation, man. That is actually incredibly scary. Macobra missing a pipe. He should be able to get a nice rebuild here. He doesn't, but we saw Haxer miss this as well. He should be able to get this. Now Haxer is going to get the music box. He did need this music box. He did need this music box. It's a hit. 82. 81. Oh, and he just missed the pipe. He had it. The rush, man. I'm telling you, rushing for it definitely caused something to happen there, but that's okay. Oh man, that was close. Very nice try. Nice, gonna take 5-4 nice and easy. As we've seen 5-4, a massive gatekeeper in this run. Haxer with two stars. We don't want to see another one, man. That could be risky. No overworld bumps yet on Haxer's side. Macobra had his hammers touching in World 3 anyways, so it's fine. No bumps from either side, looking pretty good. Nice, Macobra's gonna have P-Speed gain a little bit of extra time. He does make it across and he is out of there. Axe are making good work of the boom boom. Destroyed. Destroyed. All right, uh, Macobra does not need this hammer, brother. So I'm gonna see what he does. Doesn't go for the roulette game either. It's a great opportunity to get some points from Haxer. Axe are gonna go for it again. Mushroom, he's got it. Mushroom, he's got it. He knows the bottom half. It looks like he's got a strat. Oh, and the mushroom flower leaf beard. What is that, man? So unfortunate. He had it, dude. He had it. Mushroom flower. Again, Macobra just rushing it, I think, not being able to secure it. He's gonna do the fortress though. Ooh, almost a missed jump there. That was very scary. Haxer not getting a fanfare. That's very good for him, man. That's scary. The lives would have punished him later when he finished. 
So it could have been nasty, man. Could have been nasty. All right, and he is out of there on the airship. Macobra technically only one level behind, gonna make it there. Is he gonna go for the relay game? He doesn't need the music box though. He does not need the music box. So let's see what he does here. He fights the music box. I think he might be going for the roulette though. I think the hammer brother got in his way. He's got He's got a lot of items here. And he doesn't go there was I wonder why he went for that. Very interesting. I was getting the P speed back though. That was scary. But he did get it back. Alright, hacks are making his way through the airship. Not a whole lot going on right now. Cobra's going to be able to avoid the coin ship. Very nice. Coin ship for world six, that is. However, his dense digits is not there, so he is in the clear. Yes, indeedy. Alright, Haxler's just about to finish the airship while Macobra lands on the airship. This airship's about a minute and something. Nice, he's gonna have to go for the stomp kill. Not much else he could do. There was a slight hesitation when he entered his cloud. Again, there's not a whole lot he can do. Uh, the items are not naturally where they should be. Um, so getting a certain fire kill in World 5 will be actually a little bit harder in this tournament format than in uh, Warpless. Even though in Warpless, it is still pretty difficult to get a comfortable kill on that boss anyways. But, eh, he made it work, right? You make it work. That's how it goes. Oh, what an intense race. What an intense race. This is round two of the tournament. Match one of two for tonight. Between these two. Axe are getting the cloud. Let's see. Get a good look at his inventory. It's a little clogged right now, but let's see how it, let's see how it is. Use the hammer. It looks like he's in the clear. However, he does have two leaves in his inventory. That doesn't negate him from the leaves from the hands. Remember. The hands, the leaves from the hands don't count, but leaves from mushroom houses, I don't see why those wouldn't count for items touching. So hopefully he uses them. All right, he's gonna go for the 279. He's look like he's in the clear right now. No bonks and no bumps from either of our runners in world five. Looks like they both have got their points. Hacks are gonna go for the 279. 283, 282. And he does get the 279 right there. Ooh, wrong person. And he does get the... <laughs> he gets the 279 right on. He's got 12 to 8 right now. 12 to 8. All right, here we go. Haxer did get lower pattern as well. So if he keeps clutching out the lower patterns, he should be in the clear. All right, not looking like... Ooh! McCover also getting low pattern. I want to see some difference in points here. A challenge. A challenge amongst them. Very nicely done. Moving to two on the Cobra side. He's going to use a P-Wing. Man, if he gets that 279, that'll be big for him. He really needs to get something like that. Get some points here. All right, Haxer is in a tough position. He does get another low pattern. He's not going to rush it, though. That is a very, very good play. Not rushing it. So he's safe. Ooh, McCobra getting the extra P-Speed. That is exactly what he needs to get the 279. And I think he's going to get it. Axer has one more bro to fight. Luckily, he got low pattern. He gets 280. Gets the 280. Very nice, man. Very nice. Axer's going to go for the despawn strategy now. Looking clean. Right down the hill, and he's good. McCobra getting a mini marathon. You hate to see it. Oh, and he's so close to that special tile on McCobra's side. Not going to be able to get it unless they do some kind of switchy, switchy, switchy stuff, which could be weird. I don't know how that's going to work, but... Maybe they will. Haxer has to fight this hammer brother right here. So let's see if Haxer gets low pattern. Wow. What a clutch series of RNG for Haxer to get that additional points. So let's see how that goes. Yep. Same thing for McCobra. McCobra gets high pattern. Unfortunate. Haxer gets another low pattern right there. Look at that. Intense RNG. Intense RNG was complaining about it earlier in the earlier like before the match started and he did actually secure it pretty insane pretty insane all right he's on the fortress macobra's turn to go for the despawn 
Let's see how he does. Gets the tail swipe. Very close. Wow. Gets an extra jump and he does get it. That could be a big time swing if he doesn't get that, man. That could be a big time swing. All right. He gets it. Doesn't have to worry about fanfare. Axel looks like he is good to go for here. Done and done. A little slip up there, but barely anything to worry about. Macobra also going to get the hammer suit, which is what we need. These runners. I don't think Haxer needed this hammer suit. I think he wanted it for safety, right? Because he did not get the first sun, so he doesn't need it. And Macobra not going to be able to secure the special tile, unfortunately. Macobra Maco fighting the hammer brother, not using his music box. Um, no need to fight that hammer brother, but he is out of there. There's two extra hammer brothers, almost three. I think three, he's fought three extra hammer brothers. Ooh, he does get the P-Wing fly. Nice. Haxer's gonna have to use the tail. He's gonna have to use the tail before that star. If he doesn't, he's gonna lose that. He wants the one up here. Come on, one up, let's go. All right, he gets it. He is safe. Kind of, kind of jerking him around a little bit. Giving Macobra a chance to catch up here. We got 16 to 14. This is very interesting. Does use the leaf. That's right. Very good. He needed to use it, so he's watching his inventory. Look at these runners go. Look at these runners go. Oh, almost gets the clip, man. Woo! The clip is very scary. I don't know about you guys, but... No one has gotten that clip yet, man. It's not... If, if nobody gets that clip... Then I'm either gonna put it back in season three or just remove it forever and be like, you know what? That clip is a no-go. Oh, yo! Macobra is also gonna get the life there. Look at these runners with the same strategies. You love to see it, guys. All right, here he goes. Is Macobra gonna be the first to get the uh, Fortress 3 clip? I wanna see it. I wanna see it. We all wanna see it. Two points right there. That'd be big for him. Ah, oh, nice try, dude. Nice try. Dude, it's always, it's always awesome to see these runners try some of these things, man. Woo! All right, he goes for the PCP strategy on the elevator, and he does nail it. And he's gonna be visiting Haxer very shortly on the airship. All right, here we go. He's got two attempts. One try. Oh, he doesn't go for the second attempt. That's right. He's very used to uh, only trying that one time in the speed run, but some of the other runners have uh, found a way to do it two tries. Um, and if you guys watch my stream today, you'll see that I did die on this airship today. So anything can go. I don't think, um, I don't think Haxer's eating chicken and mash. So I don't think he's going to die on this. Looks like he's pretty safe. Okay, there you go. That's the strat. Don't eat food in the middle of your run and you won't die on airships. All right, got it. I'm writing that down. I'm writing that down. All right, here we go. Haxer, as long as he doesn't take damage here, he should be in a safe spot. If he takes damage, he does have items he could equip. So, you know, he would be pretty safe. Goes to some pixel manipulation. He does get the movement. Last second movement right there. All right, McCobra does one try. He's going to wait for the flame. Goes for the second try. He does not get a second try. Very unfortunate. That was close, man. These are the kind of points he needs to secure here. I tried to jump up. I tried to jump on the question block, and it didn't work for me. Yes, I'm always afraid of jumping off the question blocks right there. All right, Haxer, you got five tries, man. Five tries. You're used to stressing over getting a first try, so he's probably going to get a first try. If not, I can see him getting it within tries. The sub pixel manipulation does work out for him, and look at that first try. Right there. Does get the point. Now, Macobra, does he do any sub pixel manipulation? I don't think so. He's just going to grab it. He's trying to move around. Who knows, man? Not having right sub pixels can guarantee that you cannot get it first try. That's an interesting thing. Hacks are using a star here. He's gonna go for standard 7-2. That's right. Very the this is the utmost most basic everyone should learn strategy to get through 7-2 comfortably. I Oh, and Haxer falls in the pit. He's gonna go down here for 
Nothing! Hesitation. I think maybe he turned left and accidentally hit a down input. I don't think he would have intentionally uh, gone down here. But let's see how he gets out of here. It looks like he should be fine. Maybe you should watch out for that. There is a hidden one up there. McCobra goes. One. Two. Come on. Three. He gets it third try and McCobra is still in this. Meanwhile, hacks are having a slippery 7-2. Let's scroll down the points a little bit more, guys. All right, Haxer makes through. Very, very annoying 7-2, but he does make it through, and he gets the instant pipe-to-pipe -pipe transition. That's very good. And look at that. Just like that, McCobra is on the same island, and he's going to use the star for the standard strategy. Um, very... Ooh, he's going to have to do a repeat. Maybe grab the Fire Flower. He is going to grab the Fire Flower. Go back. Yes, he's going to go back for it. Very smart move. He's going to have to... Both runners having a very, very annoying... Very annoying 7-2. When 7-2 doesn't work, it's super frustrating. Ah, Macobra! Oh, he gets the P-Speed! Oh my god, he makes it! Okay, go slow. Yeah. Holy crap. Alright, Haxer doing... Alright, he's out of there. Wow, 7-2 for both runners. Holy jumping. But they are out of there. Haxer, I think, has extra P-Wings, man. He is... He's got P-Wings for days right now. Yes, he has to use a P-Wing there. Very good call. Very good call. Alright, Macobra is not too far behind. Ooh, he's gonna do... He's gonna do 7-3 without grabbing an item. He does have a mushroom just for straight up safety. It looks like he's doing a really nice job here. Boom! And he is out of there. Very good... Very good strategies. And Haxer is finishing up Item Abuse Island. Using his stars, getting rid of his items. Over using his clouds, getting the heck out of there. Alright, no fanfares look like. Looks like everyone is good on this side. Nice item abuse island for Macobra. Meanwhile, Haxer just finished the last level. And now he's going to go to island three. Now entering the third island, Makova doing a very nice fortress. Haxer, not using a star, doesn't need it. I don't know if he's going to go for hammer suit or if he's going to clutch out the 100% um, strategies for this level, which I think he is, hence why he has the hammer suit. So let's see what happens. Yes, he is. He's going to go for 100%, 7-8. Um, not a bad play. He does get the hit, and he's good, man. That was very scary. I was even scared a little bit. Sometimes, you know, he did a couple extra turnbacks at the start, so he could have had those... Nipper shoot, but nah. Nah. All right, he's going to use a P-Wing here. No, he's going to use a Leaf. Doesn't need a P-Wing. He might use a P-Wing for Air Force. That's right, clutching in those free and easy points. Now, both these runners are very close to each other. This is actually really cool. Both runners are very close to each other. And Makovra, 7-8. Is he going to do 100% or is he going to do Hammer Suit Warpless? Let's find out. No deaths from either. Ooh, Hammer Suit Warpless seems like it'll be the better play from the delay. Haxer getting mid clip first try right there and does not have to worry about it. There you go. And he's just going to run through and he is in the clear. Very nice on his side. These runners are very close to each other. But Macobra is going to need to clutch in some of these points here. Haxer is going to Music Box Cloud and Haxer is guaranteed in the clear for no items touching. So he will get the two points early. There's no way he can get two points. Or there's no way any item that he gets can touch. Unless he somehow gets a random hammer suit, which I don't think is possible. So we'll see how this goes. Alright, Macobra getting the Fire Flower early. Having a couple slip-ups there, but he's still pretty good, man. He's still in the clear here. Alright, does take damage. How does mid-clip go? Oh, man, that was really good. Second try. Ah, oh, very nice attempt on the Cobra's side. Did jump a little too early on that first one, but he does get it. Gets out of there. And by does get it, I mean he doesn't get it, unfortunately. Not only does he not get the time save, but he doesn't get the point. And he will not get the two items touching. Alright, here we go on the Cobra's side. He is now going to join Haxer on the airship. Music box. Loud. Now Macobra is kind of seeing, holy crap, why do I have so many music boxes? And why do I have so many stars? 
Oh man, all right. Here we go, both on the airship. We are in auto scroller land, so I can kind of open up chat and uh, kind of chat with you guys for a little bit, see how you guys are doing. Yeah, they're both playing great. I mean, anyone who doesn't die in a race, I mean, that's good. Round two matches. As you guys can see, a big difference between round one and round two is the uh, strategies are a lot more refined. It seems like these guys have found the proper meta with what they want to do. There's some of them are stuck with the RNG points, some of them are not stuck with them, so we see how it goes, right? Actually, they're going to annihilate the boss by stomping on his face. Gets it. Does it get out? No, he does not get the off screen one grab. He did try for it. As you can see, Macobra a couple minutes behind, but not too far behind. Looks like both runners should be able to secure the 60. Well, truth be told that you guys can actually kill the sun in the sand level um, by standing there at the start and finding it. All right, here we go. And he is in there. First tank. We're looking for no damage. Save the animals. Axel cannot get the sun kill. But he's looking for the 20 lives. Dying can drastically affect that, so let's see how these runners do. A seven point swing is not... A seven point swing is not big enough to guarantee freedom here, so anything can go here. Exciting, man. Too bad we're just sitting here on auto scrollers. Go, go, auto scrollers. <laughs> yeah, Sands of Haxer is on lockdown. There's no way he doesn't go for it, right? That's his patented move. Winning tournaments with Sands of Shame. Sands of Haxer. Alright, here we go. Kind of situation are we gonna get himself in? It looks like Macobra gonna be very hard for Macobra to actually take this time win, which means if Haxer gets two hands and then none, Macobra definitely is gonna want to get three hands, try and secure as many points as he can before the end. Mighty Morphin Auto Scrollers, that's right. Haxer, depending, even if he gets no hands, I don't know if he can get sub. I don't think he can get the sub. No, the sub 54, I don't think it's gonna happen for either of them. We'll see though. Yo, he does get the Wrangless though. Did you guys see that? Did you see Haxer get the Wrangless? Right there, boom. Macobra desperately needs that Wrangless, man. Desperately, Wrangless Mitch? I got Wrangless, yeah, it's right there. Mark down, Wrangless baby. Wrangless baby! It was sick. All right on, Macobra going for the D-lag strats, not quite getting it, but again, not the end of the world. I don't even think it matters all that much. So let's hope Macobra also gets Wrangless. It'll be big. It'll be big. That's what he needs, right? That's what he needs. All right, here we go. Oh, and the boomerang bro moved backwards when he moved backwards. That is a guarantee no Wrangless. All right, here we go. He's now gonna join him on the Navy. Hacks are almost done. Hacks are gonna be the first one at the hands. The first one at the hands. Making good work of that boom boom. And get out of here, boom boom. Here we go. 
Let's see what happens. This is when Haxer doesn't want to get no hands, man, because in his runs, he never gets no hands. So this is when he doesn't want it to happen. There you go. Hand number two. Let's see how, let's see how hand number two goes. Very comfortable, and he's out of there. I know, I'm sure a little bit of nerves hit him when he saw hand two, because hand two's got some very weird, um, the platforms in hand two are very weird. I think they're misleading about how long they actually are. Sometimes a jump can go askew. And he is out of there, going for the no rocky kills. He gets one hand, and he's out of there. Gotta go for the no rocky kills. Doesn't take damage, he's in the clear. Now, I think Haxer said earlier in the tournament that this point would be useless to go for, and look at him going for it, right? I don't know if any point's useless to go for. Maybe some of them are, depending on the situation, right? Maybe some of them. All depends on how you feel. And he's up there, and now it is time for McCobra to hit up these hands. Oh, Haxer, that was so close! Looks like he is in the clear. McCobra getting hand number one. And he gets the no rocky kills, and look at that. Boom. Gets the no rocky kills. All right, he can't get the sun, but he can still secure no damage, and he can still secure the lives points. All right, McCobra also only getting one hand. Very unfortunate, he needed that. Actually gonna use the star in 8-1. Does not want to take any unnecessary damage. Any unnecessary damage. Does not want to give his opponent any lead for points on him, right? Although his opponent should be able to get the sun kill. Axer is out of there. It's done. Dude, not taking damage, guys. These these rocky points, man. They're no joke points. Alright, A2 Haxer, watch! He's gonna do it! And he's in there! The sands of Haxer! His patented move, man. That is a that is a go-to strat right there. That is a you love to see it moment. All right. Ooh, that was close. And it looks like he got the no rocky kill as well. Very nice. Haxer is out of there. For the memes. For the memes. All right, now it's time for Macobra to hit up that 8-2. I don't think Macobra has an extra cloud either, right? I don't think so. Entering without a star, with all the stars he's got. He's like, nah, I'm fine. I don't need no stinking stars. He's gonna take top route. No, he's gonna go for P-Speed. Does not secure it. He does get this P-Speed. Oh, and he almost takes damage. Very close. He makes the jump though. Axe are getting through the fortress. All right, he's out of there. Now it is time for McCobra to equip the hammer suit. And Haxer gets out of there. And he zips through under the elevator right there. McCobra, you got the hammer suit. He's not going for the sun. What the heck? He just wasted a point right there. He just wasted the point. I don't... What? What happened? What happened? Yeah, maybe autopilot. Yeah, he probably forgot. That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. It's okay. I still gotta respond accordingly. Still gotta bust his balls. Right? But definitely, uh definitely it was autopilot for sure. For sure autopilot. Damn, he just lost the point there. He def he definitely needed that extra point on Haxer. 100 percent He made it through the castle. He is in a good shape. He's in very good shape right there. Very nicely done. And he follows Haxer behind on the auto scroller. As soon as he entered the level, yeah. Here we go. So remember, he doesn't lose a point. He's by default in the first place slot. So he would get the extra, just the one point decrease. All right, Haxer. Now, 
Using his hammer suit. Does not want to take damage here. No, the other players do not see the other players' progress. Alright, here we go. Nice, he's making his way up the stairs, doing a very good job. Alright, almost pulls the Karua, but he doesn't. He makes his way through. Nice, gets the donut jumps, he's in the clear. Alright. Makes his jumps. Secures it. And it looks like he is out of there with first place. I do not see him taking damage here. Not happening. All right. So Haxer gets the no damage point and the 20 lives right there, securing 21 points in game one. We're going to have to go ahead and give the 10 to Macobra. And now it is going to be Macobra's turn. Unfortunately, Macobra not getting the sun kill. Not getting the sun kill. So close. He had the hammer suit and he had the first sun. Missed the sun point, man. Can't be letting up against someone like Haxer when it comes to points like that. That would have been good. That would have been good. Let's see how this goes. The Cobra's got this. Gonna go for the clip. Gets the clip. All right. Oh, gets the one up. Doesn't pull a Karua, man. We've seen a lot of non Karuas in this tournament. Karua is... I pulled a Karua today. I mean, I, I had a Karua moment today. I missed that clip. Lost two seconds, man. This is... <laughs> Hate to see a moment, right? All right. It looks like Macobra is going to secure this. Very, very nice. Yeah, Macobra does get it. So he does get the 20 lives. Guts the no damage. 21 to 12. Right on. All right, three, two, one, go! Wee! Let's do it. Got Haxer on the left, Macobra on the right. These guys are gonna go ahead and do their top tier PCP strategies. Pipe rub for safety is the best way to do one one in a tournament setting. All right, both these runners are gonna go ahead and do their patented. Oh, boom! And they are both out of there. Not a worry in the world. And look at that. Macobra literally fighting for his life here. He could be late for work tomorrow, lose his job, all for the points tournament. Do you think he can handle that? I don't know, man. I don't know. I think if he won the entire tournament, lost his job, he'd be able to pay for maybe one month's rent, maybe two months. Who knows, man? So the points tournament is about. All right, enough trolling. These runners have to get the first frame jump in the Hammer Brother in World 1, and they have to stay ducking on the airship in World 1. That is very, very important for them. Whip. Let's see, will either runner run out of steam? That's the question. I mean, it, like, Mario 3 has a has a very weird way of working. I mean, some days you can play amazing, and then some days you don't play amazing. Some days you play good for two runs, and then you can't get anything going for the rest of the run, right? So it's very interesting to see how it goes. Oh, is there going to be a catch up there? Ooh, and that was a chance for Macobra. See, right now Macobra might be thinking, ah. Uh, I'm messing up a lot, but really, Haxer had a pretty big mess up too. They are still very, very close. No lifeline used yet for either of them. All right, Haxer's gonna be the first to do the damage boost. Down the hill. Doesn't keep P-Speed, but he gets it back. Gets over the turtle. He is out of there. Head not stuck in the ceiling. That's exactly what you're looking for in this level. Possibly one of the worst levels. And he is down there and he's out of there. Rebuilds his P-Speed. Not really much of a time loss right there. Alright, here we go. Movement of one for Haxer. That is pretty good. You love to see those movements of one, man. Here we go. Haxer going to get his P-Speed. Haxer does get his P-Speed. Nails it. Macobra not getting the frame perfect jump. Unless I missed it. I don't think I did. Don't think I missed it. It's Haxer's turn now to go for the frame perfect jump. Does he get... The frame perfect jump. Axel does not get the frame perfect jump either. Alright, they're both out of there. Axel not gonna go for the mushroom as I didn't think so. Go 
Absorb it. Does he get the Fire Flower early? He does not get that Fire Flower early. Holy crap, man. The Mushroom Houses have been not- have not been kind at all. And Haxer is, in fact, going to go for the Duck Strategies. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Woo! Oh! And he gets out of Duck, unfortunately. This could be big for Macobra. We saw this before, man. Macobra needs this bad. Fire Flower. It's now Macobra's turn. This is very big for Macobra, man. He would have an additional four points on Haxer across both games if he got it. Oh, and he takes damage, goes to Small Mario. He jumps. Right? You gotta not jump when the cannon shoots up. That is a big no no. Alright, gets the mushroom. Haxer gets the fire kill. They are out of there. Hey, man, he peaked. He shouldn't have peaked. All right, Macobra's turn. Going for the stomp. Kill. Boom. Boom. Nice. And he gets it. Take a nice sip of your water. Hacks are entering world two first. No points on the board. Hacks are stunning. Taking a good look at the scenery, man. He just wants to take a look around, right? World two is a beautiful world. Alright, not getting the flower, getting the star, but they do not have to worry about the end cards until after level two. Until after level two. Boom. Boom. Alright, but Cobra's going, it's his turn. Haxer, wow, almost fell in that hole. Does not fall in the mode of tears though, and he is in the clear. No modi tears. And Macobra is out of there as well. Getting another star card. This could be scary for him, right? This could be pretty scary. Both getting movements to two. Haxer hitting up. Now moving to two as well. Macobra almost falling in the hole too, man. So scary. Early peace beat on Haxer's side in the fortress. Not letting up. You guys have to remember, Haxer is the the first place winner of season one and now he's going for the first place winner of season two this is his first game he did get to advance to round two for being the winner it's kind of like he's a round two boss you know anyone who's gonna face him is in some real trouble but i think macobra is doing a fantastic job competing he was only what maybe a minute behind and i mean you have the hand stages to worry about um so that that's a big deal and, you know, if Haxer got all three hands, Macobra might have been able to be even closer. So, there's so many things. Macobra also got Runaway Bro, right? So, he was a full level and a half behind just from something like that. So, there's so much that can go on. Nice, Haxer making great work of 2-3. He's going to hopefully start with the Flower card. This is what he's looking for. This is what he's looking for. Another movement of two on Macobra's side. Haxer also. Oh, a movement of one on Haxer's side. Very unfortunate. This is a chance for Macobra to maybe clean up some points. Haxer getting the flower as well. He could get that card out of the way early. All right. He didn't bonk the shell this time. So now he's going to go for the sun kill and actually get it. And he does get the sun kill. The turtle shell almost bonking back into him, but he's in the clear. Macobra, a little bit of a slip up in that 2-3, but I don't think that's going to be too big of a deal for him. To be able to flush it back out and get the heck out of there. Macobra is still getting movements to 2, though. There's another movement of 2 for Macobra. Hey, man, RNG, it can happen, right? Now it's Macobra's turn to fight the sun. He's going to go for the first turtle shell. Oh, the wall rub. But I think he's still in the clear. Oh, he collided. Two turtle shells did not jump far enough. But he is going to go for that point, and he lost the turtle shell. No, the other one's dead. They're dead. You can't get them. They're gone. The turtle shells are dead. Both of them died. They're not going to respawn. Oh, no. Did not read the Super Mario Brothers and Me handbook. One. Oh, there you go. That turtle is still alive. And this point is definitely worth it, guys. 
I know he's bleeding a lot of time, but it is so worth it. And there we go. Axe's turn at the Mushroom House, getting rid of both those Hammer Brothers. And he is out of there. I think maybe he was running far to the left to kind of respawn it, but then he got caught in the twister. I think that's what happened. Now they're moving it to on his side. Okay, this is a very scary level. A small Mario. There you go, he's got his P-Speed. Very scared. He's gonna get the mushroom here, right? Yes, he does get the mushroom. Oh, I thought he was gonna clip it. Does get P-Speed, so he's in the clear. And I think Haxer gets the Flower Star Mushroom. He does. We're a little, we're a little bit focused on uh, the left side. All right, we are in the clear, and they both get the sun. All right on. Does Cobra get the Fire Flower from the Mushroom House? He does get the Fire Flower from the Mushroom House, so he's granted that point already. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. All right, Cobra's turn in the. Oh my God! Here he goes. All right, he should be fine. That's always the scariest part of the pyramid. Always the scariest part of the pyramid. And he is in the clear. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah. All right, the prod plant will not spawn as long as you're rubbed up against it. Does he get the flower though? Ah, the mushroom. I think he got that last time. Lots of game left though, right? Lots of game left to get those cards. Oh man, he's still getting all movements of two, man. He needs one more. This is the hammer. The hammer the hammer brother with the warp whistle. Is he gonna bless him? Wow, he gets it! All movements of two! What? Wow, and just like that takes the lead in points for game two. Wow, just like that for game two. Alright, here we go. Axe going for the fire kill. And he gets it. Very nice. No time for the off-screen wand grab, unfortunately. If, it, if that boss ever launches you in any direction, you can't really get a good setup. It's it's a very... I don't want to say it's like super precise, but the way you have to maneuver Mario to get a clean shot at the wall jump is um, kind of annoying. So, when that boss launches you around, you do not have time. Alright. Axel, starting World 3! Starting World 3, first one to enter 3-1. Again, just like last time, not an overly difficult level. I don't imagine anything really gonna go wrong here in 3-1 for either of our runners. I think every single runner so far has not really messed up. Oh, we got four shots in. Five, six, seven, eight, nine! Ten! He got it, he's in there. He is in there. Nice fire kill on the cover side. Boom! Done. Axel getting the mushroom. Does not want to get fanfares. Alright, he's very close to runaway, bro. This could be tricky dicky. This is a chance for Makover to catch up. Almost not getting on that wooden platform for early P Speed 3 2. But it looks like he is in the clear. Very nice job getting it. Both races. Did not mess up 3-2. It's a very, very important level. Even getting early P-Speed and then messing up later, that's not going to help you at all, man. It's going to be very, very chaotic. So let's see what kind of movement Axer gets. He does not get the instant runaway. That's pretty good, man. That is pretty good. Axer does have the extra music box, though, which is what he used last time. If you remember, he used it to avoid and get the double combo, special tile and water tile. C -c 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 combo right? That's what we need to see. I want to see... We've seen one triple combo, I think. Door 3, no H2O, and bro, special tile. That was crazy, man. I can't remember exactly who got it, but that happened. Alright, here we go. Door 3, while Macobra finishes 3-1, he's on 3-2 now. Both players doing a level that's very important. Not going for door 3 this time. Could set Macobra up to get an additional point on him here. He is out of there. Very nice. 
Axe are in a very annoying situation. Get run above. All right, Macobra's turn for 3-3. And then time for door three on Macobra's side. Both runners doing amazing peace speed strategies right here. Look at these guys go, clutching it out. We want to see Macobra get a flower here. He needs to start off strong, man. He needs to get rid of the, the jitters. Maybe not jitters, but he needs to get rid of the fact of the flower star mushroom. Looks like Haxler is going to get special tile and no water tile. Very nice. I don't see how he can get a water tile here. Cobra also looks like he's kind of in the clear here. As long as that hammer brother does not walk on the tile, right? Does he go for door three? He is going for door three. Oh, and he does not get door three. We wanted to see the door three, didn't we, guys? Axe are not getting runaway, bro, and he is cleaning out the rest of world three. Not stopping for anyone, man. He wants he wants to have two first place back to back. Right? If that happens, someone's gonna have to take him down in season three. But I mean, there's lots of competition left. It's not over yet. I mean, who knows? Anything can happen. Weird stuff. All right. Oh, and Macobra not going. Ooh, Macobra getting the star first. His Hammer Brothers switched, right? They must have switched. I think that was the right play. And looks like Macobra is not going to get water battles. Hacks are going for H jump. Not getting the H jump or the follow through wall jump. That's okay. Not the end of the world. It makes a clean getaway. It makes a clean getaway. All right, he is in the clear. No water. Look at that. They are tied in points. We get the hammer here, which is good for the inventory. That's really good. Oh, what a shaky world three. And Haxer is out of there. Macobra is two levels behind. He's not going to have items touching in his inventory. Should be able to secure those points. Very nice. There you go. He does, he does give the boss pass. Gives him a little bit of a talk, man. He's like, all right, I'm going to smash you with this block. You get the hell out of here. That's exactly what happened. I love it. Mm. Still a little ways behind, man. He's got... He didn't get Runaway, bro, but he is a little bit ways behind. He definitely needed Haxer to get that Runaway for him to catch up a little bit on that shakeup on the Sun level. The Sun level is definitely what drew him back a little bit. Will he get the H jump, though? Does the turn back? Ooh, jumps right over, but that's okay. We've seen it before. Look. And he's out of there, right? He's in the clear. Little, little left, right, little left, right there. But he's uh, looking good, looking good. <gasps> oh my gosh, that was so close, man. Almost a bit. Sorry about that mouse cursor, guys. It is off the screen there. All right, one person off the airship, the other person on the airship. Let's let's do this. It seems like Haxer is actually going straight up for time here. Seems like he has he's decided that if he gets the lead in points in game one with enough time, he's just gonna straight up try and go for that 52 minute time, right? gonna be the first world four world four is the first world where we can get a punishing point the first world where we can get a punishing point right here Haxer with his patented now look at that that is the patented I'm better than MFP in 4-1 strategy right there as you guys know I like to grab the turtle shell it only costs me a little under a second but hey Right? What, we, what have we learned from this tournament, guys? Everyone always goes for what they're comfortable with, right? And that's what we like to see. Axer's comfortable with that strat, and he nails it. Now he's on to 4-2. Macobra actually a little bit of ways behind compared to last run. But I think he's still looking pretty good. Try and secure these points. He doesn't have to do any more Mushroom Houses. Right? No more Mushroom Houses. He might have to do Mushroom Houses for item and inventory. Uh, safety, but other than that, 
he doesn't need any more, right? So, right? Doo -doo -doo. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna sit here and say, so right. All right, first punishment point. Will Haxer get punished? Will he get a point taken away? That is what Macobra needs. Side jump. No sticky hill. No body rub. No fall, and he is out of there. And he is out of there. Alright, now we get a good look at Haxer's inventory. Cobra, nice getting through. Very nice, clean, and comfortable. No items in his inventory touching. Gets the cloud first! We'll see how he see how he deals with getting the P-Wing after the cloud. He cannot see the Hammer Brothers. He doesn't know what's going on, but he will know after this level and he screen scrolls. He'll know which Hammer Brothers which. Macobra not getting the most ideal Hammer Brother movement, but he's not. If the Hammer Brother with the uh, with the Cloud and the Star switch, that'll actually be really, really good, man. It'll make it easy because he can just get the Star, then get the Cloud, and obviously he's going to get the P-Wing last. So he, that's like a guaranteed point right here. Now, if Haxer could just give Macobra the first two cards, then he would actually be pretty good, man. If he can secure that point, he'll be, be ahead by one point. And he can still get the special tile, too. Haxer knows that that is the star. He knows that that is the star, but he is in a rough situation. After, after the fortress, if the Hammer Brother moves down, he will be stuck and not be able to get it. Macobra got punished last time he was here. I want to see no punishment here this time. And look at that. He is out of there in the clear, man. That is exactly what he wanted to happen last time. Looking good. All right, so Haxer is in a pretty tough spot here. Gonna go for that early P-Speed. Does not get frame ruled, does get the early P-Speed. And he is in the clear right there. But we don't know if he's gonna get this next point. We're not sure yet. All right, we're not sure yet. Macobra up top does, oh, he gets the P-Meter flash. I think he got the half speed. There you go, and he gets the jump. Let's see what happens. And the Hammer Brother does move down. Haxer is stuck in an annoying situation. He cannot get the Hammer Brother with the P-Wing. Oh, and Macobra, oh my god, Macobra almost gets nabbed there. That was very close. Holy crap. Haxer, unfortunate, has to get the heck out of there. Gotta sacrifice that point. That's okay though, right? That's okay. All right, Macobra. All right, looks like that P-Wing is over there for him. So there's a couple positions here. Macobra can see the P-Wing, so this should be kind of easy for him, especially if he moves up and to the right. He does not. Even if the Hammer Brothers switch, he's still in a safe spot to get an extra point. And he still can get the flower, so he still has an opportunity to get a two-point lead. Two-point advantage. And he just screams right by, getting rid of all of those turtles. Axer with the best number coin count. Look at that coin count he's got right there. He doesn't got time for, for coin ship. Oh, that's really good. He's gonna go back down. Yes, it looks like Macobra is a lot more focused in this game too. He is going to be able to get that point. Boom, right there, tie it up. Now he's gonna wanna go for the early P-Speed. All right, that's exactly what he needs. Now he doesn't have to go to the mushroom house. That's great. No Mushroom House, right? He gets to save a little bit of time. Haxer did go to the Mushroom House. Alright, early P-Speed. And he gets the early P-Speed, and just like that. Look at the points. Look at the points. Look at the points. Look at the points. Come on, guys. We gotta throw some stuff in there. Alright, how you guys doing? Dude, this race is so much fun, man. I mean, there is time difference, sure, but holy crap. Love to see it. Right? And Macobra can still get the special tiles. No. No lifeline yet. Looks like Haxer has about a 1 minute and 50 second lead, right? 224 in the pipe, guys, remember it. Haxer entered the pipe at 224. 
All right, 220, 22-24 is when Haxer landed on the pipe. So you guys keep track of when McCover goes in the pipe, okay? We'll see what kind of time difference we're looking at. All right, McCover's coming up to the minute mark, right? 22-24, and then as soon as he hits 23-24. All right. No bumps on the overworld for Hack, so that's what we're watching out for. Let's see how his 5-1 goes. Can he get the early P-Speed? We know he wants it. Ah, very close, very close. It's very difficult. Not an easy thing to do. Let's get the double shot. Boom. See you later. 69 coins. Off to 73 coins. McCobra can still get the Flower Star Mushroom and the Special Tile, and that's two more points on Haxer. Two more points on Haxer. Hammer Brothers switch right there for Haxer. Not gonna worry about the shaft here, and he is good. He's out of there. It's very hard. Very hard to fall down there. I mean, we've seen it a couple times, but I mean, it happens, right? It only happens. Um, in the pipe, and he gets the jumps. Look at that. With the Speed Hill kicking, and he is out of there. He's gonna get his mushroom and he is done. McCobra, 2403. So, what kind of time difference are we looking at? 2224 to 2403. What's the time, guys? What's the time difference between these two? Alright, Haxer gets the hammer by the switch. Does not bump on the overworld map. Haxer is down a P Wing, and it looks like he's, he might be down another P Wing as well. All right, here he goes. I don't know, the the, the Hammer Brother with the P-Wing, did they switch again? I don't think they did. I'm, I'm not sure, maybe they did. Lots of stuff going on here. Does he go for the roulette? I don't think he's gonna go for it. He is gonna go for the roulette here. Let's move the card down, the second half. Meanwhile, McCobra just enters World 5 now. Oh, Mushroom Star. Oh man, I thought his game froze. Ooh, Haxer is in a tough spot. He is down a lot of P-Wings. He is actually down two P-Wings. What is Haxer gonna do? I don't know if he notices. Maybe he's gonna go for clips in World 7. Let's see. No bumps on the overworld map from either of them just yet. Haxer trying to get that 280. Wants that 280. Mm -hmm. All right, time for McCobra to go for the slippity slip, slip slides. Right into the pipe. Haxer with the 285, 284, 283, 282, 281. He does get the 281. Meanwhile, McCobra still not getting the Flower Star Mushroom. That card is very annoying. Haxer with the 280. Catches back up in score. McCobra still no bumps on the overworld map. He does have a P-Wing in his inventory as the last card. They are very cautious. What's going on in their inventory? McCobra did get the P-Wing in World 4, so he can use the music box here. Axer does have to get this music box. Ooh, little bit of a shake-up. That's okay, though. This isn't World Record Attempts, right? This isn't PB World Record Attempts, so he's in the clear. All right, McCobra is going to go for the star match here. One, two... And he gets it! He even said earlier that he just straight up mashes for it. Wow, and he does get it. Alright, he's gonna go for the additional P-Wing. This could screw him over. Is this the star of the P-Wing? Oh, no. Oh, wait, no. He got the star. No, he got the star, then he got the P-Wing, and then he got the P-Wing. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Now he's gonna get the extra star that he does not need. And two items are touching in his inventory, unfortunately. The two P-Wings, I'm pretty sure, are touching. Yes, they are. And he got the star, so that is the no points for him. However, he does get the spade game points. Axer making his way through the fortress. Almost died right there, man. That was close. That would be a you-hate-to-see-it moment. 
Meanwhile, McCobra is gonna want to secure the 280. I don't know if he can actually get it here. I think he needs the additional piece speed. Uh, I don't know what you would call it. The time time dilation, I guess. For some reason, when you get P meter, the in-game timer slows down. I don't know. Maybe he can get it. 283, 282, 281, 280. Hmm, not gonna get it. Very close though. 277. He is up into the clouds at the same time as Haxer. While Haxer also gets um. A lot of movements of four, a lot of shaky Hammer Brother movements, ones that you hate to see. I don't think we've had any overworld bumps yet. You get some of the judges to confirm. I don't think Haxer has bumped, and I don't think Macobra has bumped. No bumps yet from either of them. I'm serious. Watch, watch the P meter guys when they get P speed. The timer slows down. All right, Haxer's out of there. He does get no bumps. Sorry about that guys, got a whisper. Maybe a potential sponsor, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But we are back in it! Yo, Boston Fries? It's not the real Boston Fries, guys. Packs was sponsored by Boston Fries. Sorry about that guys. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no big deal, no big deal. <laughs> All right. No bumps on McCobra's side still. He doesn't need to go for the, for the star, the matchmaking game, so he is out of there. Dude, if it was the real Boston Fries, that'd be sick. Alright, here we go. He's on the fortress. Alright, Haxer makes his way through the airship. He's done. He's going to fight the boss. And now, Macobra is ready to go. Oh, he does get the wall jump, man. Almost off screen wall grab. Haxer is out of World 5. Macobra's got one level left. I'd say Macobra caught up a little bit here. Definitely caught up a little bit here. I don't know. Watch, look at McCobra's time here. Watch his time when he has P-Speed. Look, 297, 296. Still 296, 295. Still 295. There you go, you see? See how it slows down? I don't know why, it just, it just does. Flower Star Mushroom! And he gets the Flower Star Mushroom! He is finally relieved of the torture! There you go, and he is out of it. All right, here goes Haxer, World 6. All righty then, here we go. He's gonna use a hammer. He's good to go. He's got stars in between P-Wings. I don't know where Haxer got all of his P-Wings from, but he is good to go. Bacon, 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 big pork. All right. He does get high patterns, so he's not going to be rewarded with that. Unfortunate. All right, looking good. He does, he definitely, ooh, we got to scroll up here. World fives and world sixes. Wants that 279. Is he in 279 range? I don't think so. This might be a little hard for him. 283, 282, 281. Oh, and he doesn't keep the P speed. 279. Oh, he gets it. Wow, that was crazy. That was so close, man. I swear that was like two frames from changing. One lucky bug. A very, very nice job. All right, here we go. Very nice job on Haxer's side. He is out of there. And now Macobra is on to the boss. Macobra's got to be feeling good, man. He got the cards. He got the mushroom house. He got the roulette. He's getting some of those points. Haxer is just dumping items to make sure that items do not touch in his inventory. That's right. No bumps on Macobra's side. We need to make sure he gets those points. And look at that. Axer gets the despawn and he is out of there. Ooh, a little drop there. Not the end of the world though. I think that's a mistake he can handle. Uh, 
All right, Haxer is definitely going to go for the Mushroom House here. He does have the Sun, though, so this time he is going to have to equip it before the Sun. And Macobra's item in his inventory kind of messed him around a bit, so he's not going to be able to get those two points. He does have the Hammer, and he's out of there. Haxer also got High Patterns, and so did Macobra, so they're not going to be able to benefit from the High Patterns versus Low Patterns. He does get the Star, but does he get the Bad RNG? That's the question. He does not get the Bad RNG, so he is out of there. Gonna be able to save him some time. Nice, and McCobra is going to use the P-Wing. Try and get that 279. Last time he tried and almost got it, but just missed it there. So hopefully he gets it this time. I want to see it. All these guys coming up with their own strategies, man. I love it. Looks like he's in the clear. Does keep the P-Speed. Brings it back. Speed 4, 283. Yeah, he is at a higher number than Haxer, so he should have this. 280, 279, gets it. Very nicely done. Boom. Getting those points. Both had high pattern, so they're not going to get the low pattern here. Haxer takes damage. Is Haxer going to go for wall jump? He's got one P-Wing left. That's it. If he goes for wall jump, he does not have to clip in 7-6. Let's see what happens here. Nice see John. Look at that. Cobra side. He's out of there. Oh man, that's so scary. He almost got sucked into that. Macobra with the 16. Uh, he's got 16 lives though. Axel's last P Wing. Let's get the one up. Now they are tied in lives. So Macobra is actually going to have to make sure he does not autopilot Bowser's castle. Alright, Hacks are definitely gonna go for a clip. He's got a lot of items in his inventory that he can burn. He still has another leaf if he needs to, so he's definitely gonna go for the clip. Oh, and he almost gets the clip, man. I'm always on edge with these clips, man. Someone's gotta get that clip. Alright, Macobra is unfortunately stuck in a position where he has to fight the next Hammer Brother. He does have extra music boxes. Use them! Not gonna use them, though. Definitely has extra music boxes, right? Not too bad, though. Not too bad. Haxer is going to enter the airship now. Bada boom, baby. All right, McCobra does get the peace speed. All right, and he is out of there. Let's hope he doesn't autopilot by getting the life in 6-9. And let's hope he doesn't autopilot in Bowser's Castle because he has enough lives right now. He does not need any more lives. He has the one extra life. Look, he's gonna get Flower Star Mushroom again. Haxer, in an opportunity to get another point with the clip here. Let's see if he gets it. Let's see if he gets it. Oh, debating us. He does get the clip, and look at that, man. Look at that. All right, he's got a P-Wing. He does not need to go for the one up here. If he gets it, this could be... Oof, this could be scary. Okay, he doesn't go for it. He is very... He's paying attention. He knows what's up. He knows what's up. As long as Haxer doesn't take damage here, he does not have to do 7-1. That's the scary part. All right, Cobra. It's the wall rub again, and he gets out of there. All right, Haxer is done. He does get the setup for the sub-pixel manipulation. Ooh, and Macobra almost getting the clip. Looks like no clip yet, guys. No clip yet in this. Very, very rough situation. Guys, I have not heard back from Boston Fries. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no, I didn't hear back from Boston Fries yet. Are there, is Boston Fries in chat? I don't know. I don't know. Sub pixel manipulation, guys. All right, Haxer should be able to nail this first try. And he does get a first try. Welcome to the sub pixel manipulation. All right.
right, it is now Macobra's turn. If Haxer gets no hands here, he can very, very much get under 40, or sorry, 54 minutes. Hopefully he doesn't have the exact same 7-2 that he had last time. He should be okay, though. Oh, man, dude. Macobra definitely, definitely needs to get this fire clip here to stay, give that one point advantage. He, first try. All right, here goes second try. Oh, and he gets it! Very nice, dude. Yes. You love to see it. Working his way on to World 7. Axer is already in World 7. We got the first clip. All right. Making his way to Island 2 here. Technically Island 3, I guess. Ooh, I thought that was a little bit of a short hop, but he's he's good. He's good. He knows. He knows. He knows. <laughs> All right, first stomp. Second stomp. Don't take damage. All right, he's good. He's good. Any kind of sub pixel manipulation? Nope. Oh wow. I don't know what that was, but I could have been pretty good. Axer is going to have to do a 7-6 clip here. Oh, no, he's not. He's got the tail, man. Doesn't need the P-Wing. The strats, man. Combining 100% with Warpless. That's what we want to see, man. We want to see meta-changing strats. Nobody has done some of these strats, but now they're exposed. Let's hope some of the other contestants are watching. Scheming. Plotting. Writing. All right, Macobra. You got five tries, man. You got this. One, two, and he gets his second try. And look at that, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Haxer is in the clear. I don't think two of the same items. I don't think it's possible for them to touch. And this is why Macobra needs those item inventory points. I mean, look at that. Just right there, he catches up. Just right there, he catches up, guys. All right, use the star. He's gonna get the heck out of here. Gonna get out of here. All right, Haxer's turn. It's a very nice clean pass at 7-8. Wow, and Macobra destroys 7-2. Both runners doing an incredibly good job right now. Haxer is gonna have to take the backup, the backup way with the hammer suit. Does he grab it though? He's gonna grab it just for safety. He doesn't need it, All right? He doesn't need it, but he doesn't have a P-Wing for the next level, so. I don't think he's gonna go for clips, but we'll see what he does. I think he's gonna vanilla then try and go for mid clip I don't see why not right All right now it's time for Macobra to be on What is it item abuse island where they do seven three and then just use a bunch of items to get through? All right, he's gonna have the hammer suit. Yeah, definitely gonna do duck jump go right up Yeah, get rid of that and there we go. He's in the clear. Let's go for meme clip doesn't quite get it It is a little faster Low speeds make it really difficult. He tries to get for that mid clip as well, man. Another 7-7 seven, seven right there. All right, Macobra is on his way. I think Macobra still has two P-Wings, though. All right, first attempt didn't work. Second attempt does not get mid clip. That is unfortunate. Falls down the hole, makes his way back up. But he's good. All right, he's out of there. Boom. Done. One and done. Now, is he gonna do the fortress because he's got the hammer suit? Does he think, ah, eh, why not? Why wouldn't I do the fortress, right? Why not? Why the heck not? Nope, music box and he is out of there. See you later, nerds. He's gonna have to switch though. He's gotta switch to Fire Flower so, he's, so he has an opportunity to get Wrangless, right? And Macobra is only, needs two levels after this. That's it. And he's back in game. Especially if he gets mid-clip. Especially if he gets mid-clip. be very interesting. Love to see this. Love to see what's going on here. You'd love to see it. Alright, here we go! Cobra! Gonna go for top tier. 7-8, man. Very difficult! Oh my god! If you face rub there, you are dead. That is the scariest jump in this level. It looks like he's going to be in the clear. Does not get it. Should he go for backup? He should have definitely gone for backup. Go back for it. Oh, no. Oh, no. He Go back for the hammer suit. Ah! 
All right, very nicely done, man. That's what I love to see, man. He turned around, he said, you know what? Not worth it, right? Go with what you're comfortable. He's like, I'm not going through that. Who knows what the, the fire nippers had in store. Now he can just damage boost, right? He doesn't have to be perfect. Look at him, you just go. No problem. A little bit of a time loss, but man, dying in that level would have been a much bigger time loss, right guys? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Gonna go up. Doesn't need that first firefly, but he's gonna go for it, man. I mean, why not be comfortable? Oh, and he gets snabbed there. That's okay, though. There is more fire flowers for us. Whoop. All right, here we go. Mid clip, man. Need some points here. Oh, and he doesn't get a second try. Dang it. Definitely needed. Definitely needed the mid clip there, but not the end of the world. All right, Haxer does switch out for Fire Flower. So he has a, so he has an opportunity for Rangless, right? It's all about that Rangless. He got Rangless last time. Can he get it two times in a row? Can he get it two times in a row? Alright, music box and cloud, and he is out of there. One gets off the airship, the other one gets on the airship. Alright, now I can hang out with chat. We are in the home stretch. We are in the home stretch. We are in the home stretch, guys. Holy crap. Home stretch. Oh, and McCover takes damage, which is fine, though. No big deal. That's actually no big deal. Axer is one of the best Mario 3 players in the world, right? He's one of the best. Top, top 10, top 15. I mean, regardless, anyone in top 10s, 15s, 5s, 8s, 7s, who knows? That, you know, that's a lot of people, so that's really good. That is very, very good. Alright, both people on the airship, guys. Alright, we gotta make sure Haxer doesn't take damage, right? Yo, thank you. I, I love that you guys love it. I love that you guys love this tournament, man. We got another race tomorrow, another race the next day. Make sure you guys type exclamation tournament. You get the brackets, you get the rules and how the points work, and you get the calendar. You see what all the races are. We're only on round two. We are only on round two. That's right. What are boss surprises related to boss Guys, I don't know. Ooh, doesn't get Wrangless. I don't know. Anything. I haven't seen. I don't know if Boss Surprise got back to me. I did message them though, as you guys saw in the window there. So I don't know. We'll see. No big deal. But it is cool, Boss Surprise. Oh! 10 anonymous gift subs. Thank you guys very, very much. I very, very much appreciate that. I will say though, notifications are turned off during the race though, so that nothing is to interrupt these guys' runs, man. This is their run. This is their thing, right? Thank you very much for supporting the tournament, man. All support during these tournaments goes directly towards starting a season three. We'll do anything we can to get a higher cash prize for these guys and get, get some of these guys more artwork, you know, maybe higher production value. Season three, season two, this is dope. All right, McCobra is now entering world eight. I cannot confirm that, no. I don't think Twitch rivals yet. Give it. This is, this is dope ass stuff. We gotta give some time though. Yes, yes. 
All right, we got Haxor on the Navy. He's gonna be the first person, man. He's gonna be the first person to get to the hands. Let's see how this goes, man. All right, let's scroll down the rest of World 8 right there. The rest of World 8. Let's see how the hands go. Haxor might be in a position where he can get... He can get sub-54, man. That'll be good for him. That'll be really good for him. All right, here. How does he do? Let's see how he goes. And number two, just like last time, not too bad. And he is out of the way for hand number two. Very nice. Gets pulled in by hand number two. Not the end of the world, but that might actually hurt his ability to get a 54. I'm not sure, though. We'll see. Two hands isn't three hands, though. Alright, let's see what McCobra gets. He does not take damage this time, so that'd be pretty good. And does he get Wrangless? Ah, oh, man, he gets the one cycle before Wrangless. Close. He got second best RNG. Haxer, a very early jump there. Kind of scaring me a bit. He probably knew he was safe, but... You know, I don't know everything about these guys, so I was scared. Got me, man. This is when things go nuts, man. You cannot guarantee the arc of the, uh, of the wrenches. That way you can practice a lot of different scenarios. They're not always going to throw in the exact same spot. So save the animals point right here. Oh, and he kills one by accident. Definitely did not mean to. But now he's kind of safe, right? He doesn't have to worry. Yeah, look at it. Look at Look at how much easier this is for them when they can get some shots here. Alright. Dude, Macobra, all three hands, gets the wrenches, doesn't take damage, gets 20 lives, right? It's gonna be big. Alright, Haxer is going to use... Slow down a little bit. That'll be fine, though. He has enough time to start. You know, he knew he had to go up. Not a bad idea, man. Not gonna get P-Speed. That's fine. Be nice and slow. He's had this happen to him before many, many times. He's no stranger to this uh, fix-up. He is out of there. All right, Cobra, out of auto-scroller land. Time, time to gear it up in World 8, man. Time to gear it up in World 8. Up on the overall map. That's fine. This is in World 5. All right, here he goes. He could do the Sands of Haxer, I mean, if he knew. Gets the sun kill. Makes it very nice. Also, Macobra getting hand one. Macobra getting hand one. Look at that. Let's give you some points here. Beep. Oh, hand one and three. Oh, whoops, I died. Oh, and then I got all three hands. It would not be worth it, guys. Axa really, really needs to not take damage here. Really, neither runner needs to take damage, man. Career totals, right? Career totals. McCobra has been a part of season one and two. I want to see him come back for season three. Did Cobra take damage and then have to get Fire Flower again in hand three? I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, and that was Macobra's opportunity. That was Macobra's opportunity, man. He needed that extra point, right guys? Now, I don't think there is any additional points he can get here. And Haxer is in a position. I ooh, it is close for Haxer for extra points here. Very close for Haxer. Oh man, it looks like he's actually pretty. I think he's in the clear for 53 something, right? Hammer suit Bowser takes about 52 seconds. 
points for Haxer. Alright, Macobra. Macobra still is not taking damage. Oh, so close on Macobra's side. This is a very difficult strategy. Very difficult strategy. Nice, and Macobra securing 8-1. All right, Macobra, you better equip that hammer suit, man. You need some of these points. Oh, hacks are getting the overkill. He's gonna go for the stomp kill. Makes sense. Right on. Oh, he equipped the leaf. Macobra losing two points. Oh no, losing two points here. Is he gonna try and go for a tail swipe? Doesn't want to use his hammer suit too early, right? Maybe he's gonna jump here. No. That is rough. He's gonna keep trying though. Axer pulls a Karua. Double Karua. Oh man, I thought he was gonna do the triple Karua there. I was scared there. He's gotta get the tails. Oh god. It's so difficult. But he's going for it. This is some swaggy ass swag if you ask me, man. And Haxer gets it. Macobra. Ah, and he gets it, man! Oh my god, the trolliest way of doing it. Haxer with no damage. Haxer with 20 lives. Not sub 54. Gets first. And that's Haxer with the solid 18 right there. Haxer with the solid 18 right there, guys. There you go. Macobra still has not taken damage yet, though. Still has not taken damage. He did get the sun. He is gonna get second. Axe is going to advance in the bone zone. Hoo-ha-ha-ha-ha. Hoo-ha. took damage in World 8. Eight one. Did he use the star? Did he take damage? Where did he take damage? Maybe he did take damage. Right? I know, but I don't remember where in eight one because he used the star, then did top pattern, didn't get P speed, and then made his way to the end, right? I don't think he took damage. He hasn't marked it, but I don't think he took damage. We can ask him later. We're, we get, we still got Macobra left. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. No damage marker is specifically for all of World 8. He's on the airship, I might as well ask him. Alright! It is now Macobra's turn. Macobra has not taken damage. He can get the 20 lives and secure the 17. This is scary. Nice. I don't think he has one. Did he not get one from the mushroom house? Wow, then getting that sun point is even sexier. Okay, getting that sun point is even sexier, man. What the frig? Nice! So he takes second place. 20 lives. No damage. Look at that, guys. Wow. 
Jesus, 18 to 17. 18 to 17, guys. That's crazy, man. If this was game one, I feel like Haxer would have played very differently, right? Right? He would have played very, very differently. Holy shit. So what are we looking at for points? We got 18, 28, 29. Wait. 20, 30, 39, sorry, 39, 39 to 29, very nice, 